question about how to create an unassailable competitive advantage. Because most organizations actually get this wrong. Now it's common to think that competitive advantage comes from having a better product or service or cause. Now that may be true in a temporary sense because superior goods attract attention, they attract investors, they attract sales, but that's not enough to create a durable and sustainable competitive advantage. I mean, just look at all the companies and nonprofits in just the past couple of years who had great products or services or compelling causes, but have failed or are failing. They found themselves in deep trouble because of problems in one or more of what we call the three big things, leadership, culture, and strategy. I mean, think about it. You could have great sales and revenues, but mediocrity in one of the big three is like having a big hole in the bottom of your bucket. No matter how fast you fill up the bucket with revenues, the water just keeps coming out. Now, I'm not even talking about major problems in the big three. I mean, mediocrity is enough to begin killing your business. A few data points of this are, are pretty revealing. A report by the Center for Creative Leadership shows that about 46% of managers are considered by their employees, their peers, and their managers to be incompetent. 67% of Americans, according to Gallup, report being unengaged at work. Now, Gallup also reports that 75% of those who leave work voluntarily do so to get away from their managers. And among those who leave a job within 18 months, 89% do so because of a bad culture fit. Authors Robert Kaplan and David Norton report that 90% of business strategies are not executed successfully. So some of the reasons for a high employee disengagement and underperformance are that people are not placed in roles that best fit them. They often don't understand or have a sense of ownership in the strategy and the why or the big picture and how they fit and how they contribute. I mean, let's apply some numbers to these kinds of issues. And just to make the math easy, let's say that your 1,000 person company has an average employee turnover rate of about 20%. So that means that you lose 200 employees each year. And just to make the math easy, let's assume an average salary of about $100,000. Now the cost of employee turnover ranges from 50% to 200% of the employee's annual salary normally depending on that person's seniority. And again, just to make the math easy and conservative, let's, let's go with 50%. So that turnover in this scenario is costing your medium-sized business $10 million a year. How many medium-sized businesses can simply afford to let $10 million go down the drain? Now, all this, mind you, is what's happening in the average company. We're not even talking about companies with bad or toxic environments, which costs even more. So calculate the cost of turnover in your company. Imagine what you could do by recovering even half of that. Now this is where getting the three big things right comes in. Trustworthy and effective leadership, of course, improves talent retention. People are no longer leaving because of a bad or mediocre boss. They're more fulfilled at work and they're better engaged. A properly defined, healthy, and winning culture helps you find and attract the right talent and improve the diversity and inclusion that you need to seize opportunities and prevent blind spots. A sound strategy and a business plan in which your employees feel a high degree of ownership improves their engagement and it improves their stewardship of your resources, time, talent, and energy. For more on this, check out our Sustainable Growth Mindset for Leaders programs to learn about how you can get the three big things right and more importantly, have them work together as a whole. I mean, top quality leadership, culture, and strategy is what gives you that unassailable competitive advantage. Someone can design a better product or service, but that will only be temporary because another organization will learn and adapt to create an equally good or better product or service. The big three, however, are fully under your control. So you can choose to invest in yourself and your leaders so that 
you make sound decisions and bring out the very best in your people and teams. You can choose to create and sustain a healthy winning culture so that you attract, hire, and retain the right talent. And you can choose to develop a flexible strategy and a sound business plan that enables you to seize opportunities, mitigate risk, and execute with excellence. Getting the big things right will not only reduce the costs of turnover, they will improve your performance of your people and teams. So investing in the big three protects your existing revenue and it gives you a very high likelihood of greater growth. So you get a low cost, high payoff result. Now the fact that you're watching this video suggests that well, you get all of this and that your company is probably much better than average as a result. Your real competition, however, is not from the average. It's from the really good companies. So every edge that you get in the big three gives you a major advantage. You'll have greater continuity among your top talent, you'll make better decisions, and you'll have more revenue for investment in your people, your products, and your services. After all, this is how great organizations throughout history have gained and maintained that unassailable competitive advantage. To learn more, go to our website at strategicleadersacademy.com.